All right, so Nigeria's Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, has said that if we don't behave ourselves, there is a likelihood that the lockdown will be extended. But if we behave ourselves, there might not be an extension. If we stay at home for two weeks and we are doing everything we are supposed to do, we should be able to effectively contain the coronavirus disease. But from what we saw and heard over the weekend, it will be accurate, or it will be inaccurate to say we are behaving ourselves. It was JJ Shiskill's birthday on Saturday, and guess what? They had a party. Of course, his wife, Funka Akindele Bilu, who is supposed to be um, at the forefront of promoting the messages from, from the Nigerian Center of Disease Control, was in attendance, boogieing down. In a now deleted tweet, she responded saying, Thank you for the love, guys. We all have been together for the past two weeks. We are safe and take all precautions cautionary measure. Also, she made a video explaining that she's been with these people from a month ago, two weeks ago, days ago. And also, we have reactions from social media. Dr. Olufim Laya says, Dear Funke Akindeli, this is a very silly excuse. Nigerians had weddings, burials, and parties planned before the lockdown. Nigerians canceled their plans because um, government advised to do so. You are educated, ma. You are an NCDC ambassador. Throwing that party is totally irresponsible of you. So before we carry on, I need to make it clear that she is not a, an ambassador of NCDC. And they've come out to make that clear that the only part with Ditor to put the message out there. Wale Adetono says it's gross irresponsibility for Funke Akindele, who should know better as an ambassador of the NCDC Gov, um, to throw a party to this delicate period. Practice what you preach. What message are you passing to your followers? And at Click IK says NCDC ambassador, Ditor ambassador, did two, did two awareness video on social distancing, yet Funke Akindele invited Eniola Badmos and Naramali, who returned from the UK into her house. As if that wasn't enough, she threw a full house party. This level of recklessness is insane. Benny. Yeah, um, I want to take it first from the Minister of Information and Culture's statement. It, it's quite, I, I don't want to trivialize anybody's experience this moment. Um, people are hungry who need to get to where they can get food and maybe medicines, those who need to stock up for their medicine, the people who are on daily dose of medicines to, to maybe to reduce high blood pressure or whatever it is they're going through. You know, but it is so true. I mean, he couldn't have said it more accurately than he did. It's just a two weeks lockdown. All right. And prior to this time, there were anticipations that there might be a lockdown. Um, many Nigerians already were already stockpiling just in case it was going to happen. All right, the two weeks, I don't even know if there was a complete lockdown because there's always been people on the street, people on the road. Um, then over the week last week, there was, there was a directive that some stores, departmental stores, pharmacies, markets should be open, but under strict, um, under strict regulations. Now you find a whole lot of people outside and you begin to ask yourself, what exactly is going on here? So you're saying this is not just about Funke Akindele? No, right? no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm going to come to the matter of Funke Akindele. That's okay. gross responsibility on our mm -hmm. part. You know, as so Nigerians, we're trying to curtail the spread of this pandemic. And I'm afraid to say with the amount of people I've seen outside, because I, I come to work every day. I mean, with the amount of people and cars I see plying our roads, we just still might be endangering our lives and other people's lives. And... The, the effort of the government will be truncated by people's movement up and down and not obeying the stay-at-home order. And it's quite unfortunate. And for Funke Akindele, I'll say this, right? And people are saying, whether she's an ambassador or she's not an ambassador, that's not even the point for me. The point is, the government gets a directive. You're supposed to be one of those at the forefront of social responsibility and accountability, Funke Akindele, for Christ's sakes. And you're telling us some people still are there for weeks, for months, for days. That is a whole lot of bulwark. That is bulldogs for me. I mean, you did what you were not supposed to do. Own up to it, you were wrong. And I heard that JC came out talking to people on video that it's their data, they're using their data to say to whatever mind. they want to say. But you know, I expected better from JJC skills. Yeah, he's, she's been arrested. You know, yeah. Apparently. I expected and better from JJC skills. I mean, maybe I should take him back to some of his music when he was talking about things, Nigeria, what we should do as a country, who we should be as a country. And now you are the one that defying government order. You should be ashamed of yourself. I expected highly from Fuka Kindele. You know, I've always thought about someone that's pretty much responsible. So again, for the benefit of the she made a mistake she's come out to apologize mm. but the reason she gave 
um, that people that have been with that for months, for weeks, for days. So one assume Naramali has been living with you for like two, three weeks now, or like for like five days in your house. S summer days. Okay. Yeah. So for me, yeah, I, I've seen reactions on social media. I think one of my one of the problems I've seen is the way we react on social media as Nigerians. I'm not going to take myself out of that pack, even though I know, of course, I'm not in that pack, right? So um, now that she, the news of her arrest broke, you saw people saying, you see people saying, um, but she apologized. But people need to that's, understand. That's an enough. apology does not negate consequences. That's it. So you apologize saying it's understandable, but does she even understand the consequences of oh, what, what she she's done? done? Because in the video we saw, she was excusing it, telling us this people has been in your amen estate Before the for lockdown. a long time. Before the lockdown. Been you are supposed Nobody to self came from outside. You're not supposed to be in a gathering. You're not supposed to be partying. And someone raised a very important um, um, point. They were saying, those people being locked down in your house or your estate or your uh, um, factory, however you want to call it, they have been stepping out one way or the other, oh, yeah. going to get groceries, oh, yeah. going to do one thing or the other. The lockdown is not like a total don't step out of your house. So how can you ascertain that these people have not um, come in contact or be exposed with anyone with the coronavirus? So it's it's just sad. She's and just I hope that um, this would send a strong message to people because I remember we talked about Sydney Talk on Friday, oh, yeah. and he finally came out to apologize to say, oh, he was trying to create awareness or whatever that is. But back to Funke Akindele, I hope that this passes a very strong message, and I hope that people learn from this. I saw that the fine is basically 100,000 naira, right? Well, it's not a big deal for Funke Akindele, no, but the big deal is for her to understand that this is wrong. I also did my research on what the fine for other countries um, is right yeah. now, and for somewhere in UA somewhere like UAE, you are paying something, of course, if you convert it to our money, it's close to 5 million, between 5 million to 10 million. Now that, that and in the United fine. States as fine. well, um, it, it, depending on the state, you'll be paying between $1,000 um, um, and $5,000. So yeah. I think that fine needs to be revisited. But yeah, at the it same needs time, to be reviewed. It's, I'm it's also low. worried for this lockdown being extended because going by what um, Minister of Information said, Lai Mohammed, it's it's possible that this will be extended. And because we've this, not behaved ourselves. We've not behaved and ourselves. And is this a function of the masses now or just the function of the privileged people that are not doing the right thing? Because I know Funke Akinele is being used as a scapegoat right now, right? She's not the only one. So are we going um, to punish people that are living from hand to mouth no. because of these people? But a at the again, end of the day, that's what's going to again, happen. Again, there's a place of social responsibility where every citizen, every individual in the country take responsibility of themselves. Mm -hmm. The government has the right to pass law. I've always said our government feels, you know, but simply by just passing law, they're solving a the problem. Enforcement comes to place. I'm going to blame the law enforcement officers on our road. I've seen some, I've seen some very funny characters. I mean, a few displays of what they normally would do, harassing citizens, taking advantage of them, exploiting them. Right, right before me yesterday, yesterday night going home, um, yeah, yesterday night going home was a police officer stopping some people and asking them where they're going to and they were trying to explain themselves. The next thing was asking the guy, well, anything for us? Wow. Now that's somebody that's supposed to be enforcing the law, stay at home order. So at the end of the day, if they can get a lot of anything for us from people who just want to step out, then this order will not be, will not be obeyed. And so our law enforcement officers should understand why they're on the streets at this point in time. It's not to harass, it's not to, it's exploit. Not to exploit, mm -hmm. it's to make sure this, this, this law is obeyed to the very letter. And if people have genuine reasons why they have to be out, I don't know what proof they can give out if I want to get to the pharmacy and say, I want to get me, I want to stock up my meds, you know, I want to, I want to go get food. It becomes very, it's, it's, it's a tricky one. Mm -hmm. All right, because people need to go get supplies. And right now you've, you've lifted up um, the, the, the lockdown order on places like supermarkets, pharmacies. People need, they need to be patronized. If they're open, people will need to patronize them. But and again, the there's a lockdown also, order. It, it boils so should down, we say it's a partial lockdown order as it is it, right I now? I think it is partial, but it also boils down to the smartness of the law enforcement agents, yeah. uh, um, agents on the, on the on way. The road. So mm. if I am living in an estate, for example, and you know the proximity of where I'm staying, yeah. and I tell you I'm going to the supermarket, you should be able to tell me that there is, one. The there should be one. The proximity of our movement ha ha have to be uh, managed, and that's one. Secondly, the essential workers. I saw a video of um, doctors being harassed, people that are supposed to be at work. So I think um, 
in fact, we've said this over and over again, educate these people, but this is not the time to start educating anyone. I believe we all can be better. They have phones. They understand what is going on. They should understand the gravity of what you're facing you right know, now. But unfortunately, that's not the case. And I hope know, that this lockdown yeah. is going to solve you know, the issue. You know, it, it just makes me realize that we're still, it's still a far cry from, we're still, we're still a long way from Uhuru. Uh, we had Segalink earlier on in the news today, and it was talking in the midst of all of this going on and mm -hmm. this shutdown, there's still police brutality and yeah. harassment going on, which should not be the case. Should we not be expecting to inspect the people who are meant to be inspecting other people? The police is meant to be inspecting and ensuring that people obey these laws and other. Now we're inspecting the people who are meant to be inspecting other people. And so it's just it's just ridiculous to me. Well, there has to be room for some level of accountability anyway. So whether you're a police officer or not. There has to be some level of sanity. I, I hope JJ skills, JJC skills has been arrested also because he should be arrested. And I mean, <laughs> Funky Akinle should not be the one that's arrested. It's ongoing. I don't understand that, was, that idea of them saying he's, he, they are looking for him. him.